Good morning again. It's good to be with you each day, each week. It's a blessing for me just to visit with you. And so I pray that these devotions have been helpful to you, have been a blessing to you. This week we're talking about prayer. Remember, first day, Monday, we talked about the whole idea of 15 reasons I don't pray. And then we talked about praise, praising the Father, letting the Father know that you're thankful for what He has done and who He is. Today we're going to talk about a very hard word. This is a hard word. Because we as Christians, we as Western Christians, you know, we don't like to do this one thing. We don't like to wait. We don't. We want it now. We want it in a hurry. We go to Costco, we go to Safeway, we go to Rayleigh's, we go to whatever supermarket we're going to, wherever we're looking for, we're looking for the shortest line because we're in a hurry. When we go to the gas pumps, we're doing the same thing. Where's the shortest line? How, how can I get in and out of here in the fastest time possible? Why? Because our life is one of speed. Many of us long to live in Europe. I do sometimes. <laughs> Simply because when you're not in the city on the Autobahn, you can drive as fast as you want to. And so, you know, here we're doing it. You know, we're, we feel like, oh, wow, we're really cheating if I'm doing 80 on, on I-5 or 90 on I-5 or on 280. If we do 80, we're, oh, I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get a ticket. But over there, if you're not in the cities, you go as fast as you want. Because that's the nature of our life. It's speed. It's fast. We don't like to wait. Sometimes even when we order food from DoorDash or you know, Grubhub, you know, when we order those things, you know, we want it now. Matter of fact, uh, Domino's Pizza made a lot of money advertising that we'll get your pizza to you in 30 minutes or less. I'm not going to comment on the quality of the pizza, but that's their deal. Why? Because we are addicted to speed. We do not, here's that hard word, we do not like to wait. Great Scott, we don't like to wait. When the Father says wait, we say why? When the Father says not yet, we go why? When the Father says let me prepare you for this, we go why? We're like little children. We want it now. Because we do not like to wait. Psalmist tells us in 37.7, he says, Rest in the Lord. Wait patiently for Him. Don't fret because of the person who's prospering. Don't fret because of the evildoers around you there. They seem to be succeeding. They look at all the outside stuff, but inside they're empty. I can tell you many young people, many adults I've worked with, where outside they look like they're all prosperous. Everything's going on in their lives. Inside they're empty shells. Father says, not so with you. Wait patiently. The key about waiting is resting in the Father, relying on Him, letting Him speak deeply into your heart. Why? Because when we're still before the Father, we're waiting. Psalm 46.10, be still, wait, and realize that I am God. Another word that helps there in 46.10 is this one. Cease striving. Stop struggling. Stop speeding so fast. <sighs> Take a break and wait. There's an app you can get for your phone called Calm. It says, do nothing for 15 seconds. That's waiting. Stillness. Lord, help me to be still before you. Lord, to hear you. Help me to be patient, to recognize your voice. Lord, help me to know you as you speak into me. Lord, help me there. Jeremiah helps us here. Jeremiah is in trouble in the city of Jerusalem. The city of Jerusalem has fallen to the Babylonians, and he is, he is desperate. He is going, Lord, something's happening here. Help me to wait. But he says this in Lamentations. He says, the Lord's loving kindnesses indeed never cease, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I have hope in him. What is Jeremiah saying there? The Lord loves me. We talked about loving kindness. He says, his compassions are new every morning. They don't fail. Why? Because I have learned that in my distress, in my trouble, in my hurry... 
to rest and let the Father speak there. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. I have hope in him. Why? Because Jeremiah, in all of the trouble, and warning all of the kings, all of the things. Remember, Jeremiah is a prophet to the city. In all of those things, he says, I have hope in you. Why? Because I've learned to rest in you. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the person who seeks him. When we're resting, when we're waiting for the Father, we're seeking his presence. We're being still. Lord, tell me what to do here. Lord, help me to be still. Help me to wait on you. This isn't just meditation. This is actually waiting. We stop struggling. We slow down and don't let the speed of our lives take over our lives. We wait. We rest. We're calm. Because I am waiting silently for the Lord to speak, for the Lord to do what he does so best in my life, to speak deeply into me. Then Isaiah helps us here. Because Isaiah too, prophet to Jerusalem. But here's Isaiah. Isaiah gives us this wonderful word that helps us to know what happens when we wait upon the Lord. You ready for this? It's Isaiah. <laughs> 4031, he says this, those who wait upon the Lord, got that? Those who wait. Jeremiah says, you know, that he is good to those who wait. Isaiah says, those who wait. Here's what happens. The Lord will give them strength, renewed energy, renewed vigor, because we get worn out, because the speed of our life, the lack of waiting, the lack of, lack of patience in our lives, just wears us out. We're toast. We feel like damp claws just hanging there. No strength, nothing. Those who wait upon the Lord, he will give them strength. They will. Not maybe, not shall. No, they will mount up with wings like eagles. You ever watch an eagle fly? They just soar. They just ride the currents. And that's what the Father helps us to do as his children. We ride the currents. Yes, we're in a bad current now of COVID-19. We're in a bad current of economic crisis. We're in a bad current of a, of a pandemic. We're in a bad current, uh, current. But we ride that current. Why? Because it is the Father giving us the lift to stay afloat. It is the Father speaking into our hearts to help us soar. Because we mount up with wings like eagles. He gives us the strength to soar. What's an eagle doing? Resting. Relying on that wind current to keep them aloft. And that's what the Father does in our life. Why? Because we're resting. We're waiting on Him. Then He says, they shall run and not get tired. <laughs> ha! I used to run track. And now we get tired. Because we'd have to run five miles, a five-mile circuit from the college to the McKinley Monument, and back again, then practice. And at the beginning, you just wore out. Oh, man, I'm just so tired. I can't do this. Well, two weeks of that doing that, you're good. Even now, when I go run my three-mile circuit first couple of days, oh, man, this is tough. But then I start running with new strength and vigor. Why? Because I've gotten used to the run. And that's what the Father says in our lives. We get used to what's happening because He is with us. He is renewing our strength. Why? Because we're waiting on Him. And so he increases our vigor. Then he says, they will walk and not faint. They will walk and not grow weary. Why? Because as we wait for the Father, as we rest in him, our weariness is just drained away. Why? Because we've learned the secret that in the busyness of just waiting on the Father. So, his loving kindness is anew every morning. His compassions are fresh. We shall wait upon him. We gain new strength. We shall mount up on wings like eagles. We shall run and not grow weary. We shall walk and not faint. That's God's promise to us. That we can do that because of who he is and who we are in him. Mercy. Wait patiently upon the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we bless you for who we are. Lord, we bless you for your word to us today. Because, Father, we are some impatient people. But, Lord, you have infinite patience with us. And, Lord, thank you. So, Father, help us to wait before you. 
that, Father, you would do your perfect work in us. So, Father, thank you for Isaiah. Thank you for Jeremiah. Thank you for the psalmist who tells us to wait patiently for you because therein is our reward. You're guiding and leading our lives. These things, Jesus, we pray in your holy, your mighty, and your blessed name, Lord. Amen.